Thursday was a good night for Mercer County in the Appalachian League with Bluefield and Princeton both winning. They each had a chance to complete a two game sweep of their respective series on Friday. We will start at Bowen Field, Bluefield hosting Burlington. Ridge Runners with a 1 0 lead in the top of the fifth. Mason Speaker at bat for the Sock Puppets. He docks a line drive to left for just their second hit of the game. However, Bluefield keeps it scoreless in the inning for Burlington. Bottom of the fifth now. Michael Seegers putting a ball in play. And the Sock Puppets error on the throw to first allows Kendall Ewell to score. And Bluefield extends their lead to 2 0. Then later in the fifth, Michael Ed a making contact. However, no error on this play for the Sock Puppets. They get out of the inning, keeping it a 2-0 ball game. It would stay mostly defensive until the seventh inning. That's when the Ridge Runners make a couple errors and that cost them a couple runs as Bayron Acevedo will reach home to tie the game at 2 all as a result of the error on this throw to first. And the Sock Puppets rally in the seventh continues as Caleb Farmer hits a grounder that just manages to stay fair. One run will score. Four in the seventh for Burlington. However, Bluefield answers with three runs in the eighth inning as the Ridge Runners come from behind to win that home final score six to four. Well, the Princeton Whistle Pigs hosting Johnson City. 2-2 tie ball game in the top of the second. Two on for Cherokee Nichols who grounds to third. A.J. Jones gets the force out but an Aaron throw to first. Connor James will try to score all the way from first but he is tagged out at home as Princeton recovers to get that out. To the bottom of the second, down 3-2. Bases loaded for Nico Popa. A fly ball to center field caught by Jackson Cruel. Doughboys up 3-2 after two. Then bottom of the third, a runner on for Kevin Keister. A line drive up the middle. Whistle Pigs would later load the bases again. Trevor Bailey directing a ground to the third. An error on the play for Johnson City means Brady Day will score from third. And that makes it a 3-3 ball game. It would stay tied after three. To the bottom of the fourth, Dylan Rogers will lead it off with a fly ball to deep center field. It carries well past the fence into the parking lot. The solo home run giving Princeton the lead again up 4-3. to three. Then a couple batters later, Jones with a line drive to left field. Popa waved around third. He will score as the Whistle Pigs offense will catch fire in the later innings. Princeton winning at home final score 17-3. to three.